Uh, we're at booth 2002 talking about the Overwatch direct inline pumping system, the newest innovation uh, to pumping, wastewater pumping. Um, so what do we do with this system that is so unique? First, uh, we lift influent directly from the invert, right? So because we lift influent directly from the invert, we have no odor emission, no H2S gas, uh, no methane. All the influent is consistently contained in the system, never becomes atmospheric. So uh, from a safety aspect of our associates getting into the wet well, they don't have to be worried about the gases. The second thing that the system does by pulling influent directly from the invert is we don't have to worry about fats, oils, greases, wipes, uh, like you do in a traditional submersible system. Again, because we're lifting influent directly from the invert, Fats, oils, and greases stay in solution. Uh, wipes, we handle them one solid at a time, right? One, two, three rags. We have nothing that, solid nothing that separates, nothing that solidifies, no solidification layer on the top that you ever have to mess with. So because we've got rid of the, the wet well, right? This is now a dry, orderless pit. You don't have to worry about wet well maintenance anymore. So we already talked about the separation of solidification layer, all the grease that accumulates on the wet well walls no longer there. Uh, never have to worry about back trucks coming in every few months to suck out wipes because we're constantly injecting them here. Uh, the other thing that you'll recognize with the system is its simplicity for installation. So all the engineer consulting firms out there, if you're looking for a new system, right? We only need 24 inches below the invert to install the system. So that means wherever this invert is in space, whether it's two feet above ground or 15 feet below, we only need another two feet below that. So we're gonna greatly reduce the excavation steps needed to, in, to install the system. <laughs> the other thing you're gonna recognize is uh, for, for construction related uh, reductions, right? The, the footprint that the system takes up, because we're in a dry pit now, all the valving, flow meters, everything can be, be contained. You don't have to have two separate bolts. Uh, everything can be in a single bolt. So at Industrial Flow Solutions, we are not only a pump manufacturer, we're also a controls manufacturer as well. So when you order a Overwatch system, it comes complete. Everything from the main isolation valve uh, to the discharge, and it comes with a control panel already set with the VFDs and our parameters inside. If you needed to retrofit this into an existing wet well, we can provide you a radius or a flat uh, a wall flange. You can bolt that right to the basin wall and then attach uh, the overwatch system uh, to that flange. So here in our system, uh, on our control, as standard we provide it with two keypads, but you can also get the, uh, the HMI display if you'd like to. Uh, talk a little bit about the demonstration that we're going to do here. So imagine this being our gravity invert, right? This is everything coming to your collection station. Um, liquid comes into the invert. We have a stainless steel, a 304L stainless steel body. Uh, common manifold between the two pumps. We size each one of these pumps to be 100% the capacity. Yeah. So yeah. this one pump is managing the flow while the other one is there uh, sitting idle, ready to be in a backup. What we do is we get rid of the floats and we use a pressure transducer here in the bottom. So we are measuring liquid pressure above the system at all times. At, and we set in regulates or we set in set points of how we want this system to operate based on that liquid pressure. Low pressure off, high pressure on. And then what we can also do is set in a regulating parameter. Here you'll see two isolation valves on each side of the manifold. If we needed to crank down uh, this and close off this flute so we can perform maintenance on this pump, the secondary pump automatically comes on and manages the flow. You can safely remove this, take it out, rebuild this motor, rebuild the, the impeller assembly, anything that, that needs to be. So, I'll walk you through a little bit of the dashboard here. Um, I have the system set up to turn off at six inches above uh, this liquid level transducer here. I have it set to turn on at uh, 27 inches. So if you watch this ruler over here, uh, once the water reaches that level, it will turn on. And then it uh, regulates around uh, eight, eight inches. So somewhere here, half, half pipe it's gonna run uh, regulation. So the system works between two modes. I'll go ahead and crack the valve so this thing can start opening up for you guys. So simulate, Every, the world just woke up. The first couple toilets are starting to flush. My mom has probably already started to do my laundry. I'm just kidding, my mom doesn't do my laundry, okay? Um, so 
So liquid's starting to flow into the system. You see our gravity invert is starting to fill up. Once I get to about 27 inches, right about here, the system will turn on from its sleep mode. And we're gonna go into pumping. Now, the system works in linear mode and it works in a PID loop. So when it first wakes up, it goes to a linear mode, again, searching for low level off and high level on. So it's running a frequency up. Oh, it just already turned off, so I can't read it. Um, so it's gonna run this linear mode until it can figure out uh, what frequency it needs to run to regulate the flow. So it's turned off, liquid pressure is starting to rise. The pump is getting ready to turn on right now. It just turned on. Now we're moving liquid through the system. I'll give it a little bit more flow so it can regulate quicker. So let's see. So the system is wanting to regulate at about uh, 2.1 um, meters or about 8 inches. Right now I'm operating at about 35 hertz. Uh, I'm reading uh, 23. 0.23 uh, meters, so it is regulating right now. It's understanding the frequency. It said, hey, I only got to run 36 hertz, and I can keep liquid moving. Now I'll go ahead, I'll simulate, hey, more flow, right? Maybe we got uh, more peak flows of the day. What were we, 35 hertz before? I'll open this thing up. They gave me a nice small wheel here to turn, so it takes me a while. All right. So now we got more flow in the system. Instead of 35 hertz, now I'm running at 46 hertz, okay? So all that happened, the liquid level sensor recognized higher pressure in the system because we have more flow. It's raised up the, the speed or the frequency of the motor in the back. Again, we are still regulating, still moving liquid. Now, the system itself, besides managing, um, besides always measuring the flow rate, it's also measuring torque on the system as well. So, if it recognizes that there's some accumulation that has started to occur within the balloon, this is our patented dip cut and color right here, right? So this is the pumping direction. Once it recognizes higher torque, higher amp in the system, it's going to stop itself. It's going to go in reverse. The veins fold down. We expose knives on the back sides of the veins. We're going to rip apart what's ever in that balloon. So let's just say this pump is the one that's turned into the shredding pump. While this pump is shredding, this pump has turned on managing the flow. This pump will then turn back around in the pumping direction, veins right back up, it's going to continue back into pumping mode, it's going to check itself for torque again, if it says I still have too high torque base in my flow rate, it just goes in reverse again and we expose it to shredding. So this system, the way we set it up, it's going to go through that uh, sequence 20 times, so for 10 minutes the system is going to work on um, clearing a clog before any human ever has to interact with the system. Now, we talked a little bit about shredding. This thing uses a vortex style impeller. Uh, we can also pass uh, some pretty large, large stuff here, and that's what I'm gonna show you. Where's, where's Ken, my, my lovely hand assistant? Sebastian, you're up then. <laughs> Next best thing to Ken. So, I got two lacrosse balls here. They are real lacrosse balls. They are brightly colored. Um, just gonna drop them here. This would be the invert probably seen some lacrosse balls in your sewer systems. <clears throat> As they go down uh, into the main body, they're going to be sucked over through the manifold. They're flipping around here in the pump. Here's the first one out. Orange one came through. The pink one's probably still coming out. You ready to catch this? All right, here you go. There you go. There's the one. And the pink one's going to work its way through sometime. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> here it goes. Hey, you ready for this one? There we go. So, did the passing demonstration. I'll show you guys. Right, again, flow rate's changing. The world is going to sleep. Flow rate is starting to stop to the system. I almost got the valve already closed. And the pump is turned off, waiting for the next surge to come. So, that is it for the demonstration. Is there any questions I can ask for anybody?